Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I want to share with you a card that I made for our niece Amanda who turns... Ooh, I think the camera just... There we go. Hopefully you won't nudge anymore. Um, who who um, is turning six and I think I had shared the invitations that I made for her using her by request Barbie theme. So I had a Barbie head left over and it's um, cut out of, uh, it's printed from an image that I googled and because I'm not selling these there's no, um, hopefully there's no issues, it just it's went to six year olds and then they're gonna throw them out but I did have an extra <laughs> Barbie head left so I thought I would make her birthday card so I just used one of my um, black base ATC's out of my favorite um, texture paper, the cover stock and this cool um, chalk collection writer from EK Success Zig Memory Systems that I picked up at my local scrapbook store and they had a whole bin of markdown items um, and this is what caught my attention because of the black barrel and sorry 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 um, so it writes on dark colors, so let me show you what that looks like first, and I apologies for the dogs. They're doing their job. So this works great on dark paper, and there's two tips. There's a fine writer tip, and a wider one. And I used the wider end, but let me show you what that looks like. And the caps do fit nest into each other. So you can't see it when you're right initially. Let's see if I could turn. You see the you could see the glare right now, but see, look at what happens. It's almost like magic. Do you see the chalk coming to the surface? Isn't that cool? So after getting this one, I think it was a dollar or something, I was really excited because I do use this black cover stock a lot so I wanted to pick up some more and for the life of me I cannot find them anywhere. It's pigment ink, acid free, archival quality, light fast. This is just fabulous to me. So I thought this might be an interesting solution to the whole white gel pen if I could find this um, chalk collection in white. It's waterproof, fade proof, non-bleeding. It's just really cool. So the fine tip is 0.5 millimeter and the um, broader one is 1.2 millimeter. So if anyone has any experience with these chalk collection writers from EK Success or if you know where I can pick up a couple of different colors I would really appreciate a comment but this is what I wrote happy birthday Amanda around the Barbie head and like you like I just uh, displayed or just uh, demonstrated the ink goes on wet and then as it dries it looks like chalk but it is it doesn't rub off so it's pretty cool I like it so for the base layer, it's just standard A2 size card, um, white um, cardstock from Staples. I used this really pretty pink paper, and that's from the um, American Craft Specialty Foil box, and it's the 5x7 in this particular color. And I love these papers. I had totally forgotten about them. I have not just one, but two of these packages. And each color, you, there's three sheets of each color. I should have totally used these this turquoise on a recent project, but there's even black. And they do have different textures. Some of them are almost look like linen. Then there's the stripes. Really cool. <clears throat> I think one of these I got from my friend Dawn and they were from T there's a sticker on there from TJ Maxx, so you might want to check it out if you haven't seen it locally. And then what I did is I had some um, the glitter kids fun foam left over in a little piece in this uh, pretty pink and I used the spellbinders I'm sorry let me turn the light off so you could see a natural light without glare. I used the spellbinders 
sheep abilities in iron accents that's the name of it iron accents in this particular shape it's this one right here for the background image and I put the little ATC part on dimensionals just along one side and along the bottom so we could tuck in little um, tags which I die cut out of more of the cover stock paper staples cover stock paper and white off the, um, out of the Tim Holtz alterations die which is tiny tags there's also the small tag as well as the little reinforcers and the reinforcer I cut out of the same kids glitter foam so um, Polly and I will write messages to Amanda on the back of each one and then I made a little folded bow with some tails and just an accent of that glitter and this ribbon several people have asked me I used the turquoise version of this ribbon on a recent project for your paper pantry this is Christmas ribbon that I picked up for pennies on the dollar after the holidays at Michael's um, it's usable all throughout the year so I really enjoyed that and it matched nicely to the kids glitter foam so there's a quick card using the uh, American Crafts uh, specialty foil paper, the Spellbinder, Shape Abilities, Iron Works, and uh, my new found um, Zig Memory Systems EK Success Chalk Collection Writer. So for, if anyone knows where I can get more of these, please let me know. I did dig through the whole um, tub of pens at my local scrapbooking store and that's the only one they had. They had another one that was a black barrel but it was an EK success and not the chalk one so I really would love to get this at least in <clears throat> excuse me in white that would be cool because I do use black paper so often and you saw the little the way the letters just came up so if you have any questions about any of the products that I used please leave me a comment. I will have a close-up photo on my blog post which I will include in the link um, the link in the description below. Thanks for watching everyone.